Hey, what's up guys? Pretty excited today. This is called the Emoji Pick. It's the world's first wireless voice controlled LED emoji display for your car. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, but before I do, just wanna run through the different things that this can do. This is the display. In the box, you get the display itself with two car suction mounts, and then you also have a user manual. And then to charge this, you have yourself the 12 volt car power adapter to plug into the DC 12 volt input onto the actual display. At the bottom of the display, you have the charging port there. It's got a massive battery life inbuilt into it. So you can actually display this wirelessly, just use this to charge it, and you can track the charging levels through the mobile app, which I'll cover in a second. You have a next button there to cycle through the different emoji displays. And this is how you will turn on and off. There's also a reset hole there as well in case it's not working. The actual car suction mounts can be detached completely. So you can use this not just for your car, but you can set it up at home, inside your home office, your living room, wherever you'd like, and just have it as a nice LED display. So let me go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna connect it to my car windshield here at the back. Now, the one thing I really like about this is that it's super bright. So it's a nice sunny day today. And this goes up to 6,000 nits of brightness. In perspective, my iPhone 12 Pro can go to a maximum of 1200, and I can see that perfectly fine in broad daylight. So that is amazing. One thing that's also useful for is if like my car, you have tinted windows and it's very black, then you can still see it very clearly through the windscreen. So let me go ahead and set this up. But before I do, I'm gonna run through all of the functionalities and how to connect it to your app via Bluetooth. All right guys, as you can see, I've connected it to the back windscreen. I have very dark tinted windows, so you can see it's pretty clear as well. It is getting closer to sunset time, so it will get a little bit darker, but you'll still be able to see it completely visibly. If you open up the Emoji Pick app, this is where you'll be able to connect it to Bluetooth. So you have to make sure it's turned on. So I just need to hit connect to device there at the top. It's now connected. So you can see on the dashboard, there's a few things. On the left-hand side, you can see the battery life, 74%. I've got six drawings and it's on 16% brightness. If I go to the main device settings, this is where I'll be able to adjust the brightness levels. 16% is quite low. So I'm going to put this up and you'll be able to see it gets a little bit brighter. There you go, it stands out perfectly fine. Let's go back and see all the different functionalities. Elsewhere on the device settings, you can also check your drawings, you can play games on it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this doesn't have to be for your car. You can use it to have in your house and you can also play a game. The only game currently installed on this is Tetris. Here's an example of me playing it. It's pretty awesome. It's one player at the moment, so you can go and have a little bit of fun around the house if you've got some spare time. It works really well, it's very bright, and it just has that nostalgic retro feel to it, and I really enjoy playing it. So that's one thing that you can really do with it, and I even got carried away, I just wanted to play it for a long period of time. Looking back onto the device, you can also set the screen mode. You can have it always on constant, but there's options to have a slideshow or have timed. You can also change the timeout. So if you want it to time out after a certain period of time, if you turn it on, you can set the number of seconds you want it to time out with. So I can do maybe 30 seconds. Now the key thing and the highlight spec of this is the fact that it's voice controlled. So this works with both Google Assistant and Siri as well. Now, before I go into controlling this with my voice, the tabs along the bottom, this is where you can find all sorts of types of animations for this. So you've got GIFs, emojis, you've got attention icons. So in here, for example, if you break down, you can hit that. When you tap on an icon or a GIF, you have four buttons there on the bottom. The one on the left, the eye icon, is for previewing this and sending it to the actual LED display. And then it will upload it to the display so you can see it takes about 10, 20 seconds, depending on your connection speed. There you go, it's now changed. If your car breaks down, this is the perfect thing to have. You don't need to have one of those manual ones that you place in the road. This is very convenient to have. There's a lot of things here relating to car specific drawings so you got driver and driver gifts as well so in driver you can see you can have the disabled badge emergency badges and loads of different arrows to indicate whatever you'd like other drivers on the road to be aware of and there's plenty of other options that you can play around with you can have some fun and the other good thing is that if you're a business owner you don't need to set this up with your car either you can set it up in your window if you have a coffee shop you can maybe have a coffee icon you can have a text to say it's open or closed you can also have qr code so people can scan that and use it to go to your website so there's a button here called generate qr 
if you select this, all you have to do is select one of the options. You can choose a URL, you can have your WhatsApp number, any of your other social media, maybe links and uh, profiles, links to the QR code, whatever it may be, the possibilities are endless then you can do that. The button there right in the middle called paint, you can also create your own custom emojis. So if you select that, you can start drawing whatever you like. Hi, whatever you want. Then you can just download this to your gallery, your camera, or to a specific website. There's also this button called text. If you do a ticker, you can basically say something like, if you have a coffee shop, we are open, hit the button, and this will scroll across as a ticker. As you can see, you can increase the speed with the slider at the bottom. Many use cases for this. Going back to the emoji list, if you go to the gallery, you can see there's plenty of cool options here. Now, if I select one of them, the other options on this, the second button on that list, the paintbrush, this allows you to edit that emoji and add on to it. The third one is to favorite it, that star icon, you can put it into your favorites and use that anytime you want. And the last one is to delete and remove it from your favorites. Now, if I go back to the gallery tab, if I go to the favorites tab there at the top, you'll see these are the ones that I favorited from the past. And all I have to do is just select that and press the icon to upload it. And it's pretty much ready to go. It's very quick and easy. These are all my pre-uploaded ones. Now, let's move on to the voice control because this is where the cool aspect of this device comes from. If I'm driving and maybe I want to give someone a thumbs up because they gave me passageway to go through, then I can use the thumbs up emoji. To do that, you go back to your device settings and you go to voice control. You'll scroll down and all of your favorited emojis and icons will be displayed there at the bottom. If you've added new ones to it, you need to manually add a voice command to that emoji as well. So the one that says display thumbs up emoji, that's the one that I will say the voice control with and that will display on there. So if I'm driving, I can just turn on Siri, say this phrase, and it will appear on the screen for 30 seconds because that's my timeout. So let's go ahead and give you an example. Display thumbs up emoji. You can see how quick and easy was that. Let's try the coffee cup one. So I will showcase you guys here. Display coffee cup emoji quick and easy. If I'm driving and someone has made me angry while I'm driving, then I can display the angry icon. Display angry emoji. Look at that. So quick, so easy to do. And I even have the voice command button set on my steering wheel in the car to link with Siri. So I don't even need to use my phone. I just press the voice command button on my steering wheel. Siri will open up on my phone, provided that it's connected via Apple CarPlay, which I can do. And then I just speak into the car and it will display on the back. So that's one really great thing to have as well. So that's it guys. Let me showcase to you guys a few more examples of what you can use this for. But hopefully that was useful. This is a really cool gadget. I'm so happy with this. Check out the link in the description below as well. You can buy it for about $100 on the Emoji Pick website. I'm so happy with this. If you did like this video and you do like this gadget, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I've got really cool car accessory videos coming out like this very soon. And I will catch you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the video.